I am just parked outside the train station and he's just drove me here. He's just doing something for me, for my card. I've had a new bank card and I can't get it. You know when you just want it on your phone, in your wallet, so you can just tap your phone? I'm having issues. Anyway, Andy, part-time IT support. Oh, face ID. Thank you. <laughs> Andy's literally like my IT support with any kind of tech problem. Andy sorts it for me. Anyway, outside the train station because I'm heading down to London. I'm actually heading down for a really, really, really exciting evening and my head is cut off. Really sorry about that. Why do I look after <laughs> slouch down so much? Maybe I'll just hold you. I'm going down for a really exciting reason. I'm actually going to see Beyonce tonight, which I'm absolutely buzzing about. I have been invited down with Nasty Gal. So yeah, very exciting. It's really weird actually, because I was literally saying to Andy the other night how upset I was that I couldn't get any tickets to see her. And I've been trying for about every time she's been in the UK, about three times in the last sort of 12 years, 10, 12 years. And I couldn't get them this time either. And then I was invited by Nasty Gal, so I was absolutely buzzing. But I am in a rush, as always. I need to get my stuff and get on this train. So I'll tell you more about it when we get down to London. Well, guys, that was a very, very quick journey down to London. I have just arrived in my hotel. And as I said earlier, I am going to see Beyonce with Nasty Gal. I have honestly been trying to get tickets to see Beyonce for as long as I can remember. For as long as I've earned my own money, I can remember being devastated at uni about nine years ago when I couldn't get them. And yeah, it was so funny because the other day I was literally lying in bed and I just keep getting served Beyonce videos on TikTok. Um, I think it was when she was in Scotland um, a few days ago. And I just keep getting served the videos. And at this point, I obviously didn't know I was going to be invited to come here and I was getting really, I was really sad and I was saying to Andy like, oh, I'm so annoyed, she's like one person that is just, I would love to go and see and I've never been able to get the tickets and then literally the next day I was invited. I feel like I must have put something out to the universe but as always guys, it's a bit of a rush so I've just arrived and I need to get changed. Um, obviously, I'll be wearing Nasty Gal to, um, to Beyonce tonight, so I'm gonna show you my outfit. But first, I need to put my phone, ooh, they've got nice cups of tea in the room. Maybe I'll have a cup of tea before I go. That's not very Beyonce of me, but I really fancy a nice cup of tea. Ooh, Twinings, breakfast, mm. I have a cup of tea. But yeah, anyway, I will get my outfit out and show you what I'm wearing and then yeah, I've got about 20 minutes to turn this around and I did not, I thought I'd have time to like redo my makeup and stuff. So I'm gonna try and work with what I've got. Thought I'd quickly show you my outfit options. So it's gonna be a cool trousers kind of night. I mean, it is Beyonce. So I've either got these cool silver trousers with stars on the bum, pretty cool. Or I've got these black ones with like these shooting stars all over them. Again, pretty cool. Either way, whichever trousers I wear, I'm wearing this kind of like tassel -y top with them. So don't know which ones I'm gonna wear. I'm kind of edging towards this with the shooting stars. It's giving me Beyonce Renaissance vibes. So I'm gonna try them on. I feel, I don't know if the trousers are gonna be a tad too short, but I'm gonna try them on with my boots and then we're gonna go from there. So just to show you my outfit, I went for the black and gold trousers. I'm just wearing my black ankle Fendi boots. Obviously I've got on my tassel top. Um, top and bottoms obviously both from Nasty Girl. A quick makeup um, freshen up. I've put um, a little bit of sparkly eyeshadow on. Let me turn you around. I mean, the light's not great in here, but if you can see, a little bit of sparkle on the old lids. And then, yeah, that is me ready to go. I just need to pack my bag and then, yeah, head downstairs and head to see Beyonce. It's a little 
situation I've got you on right now. I've got you on a bin on top of a side table on top of a chair. I have literally crafted this tripod. Oh my god what a good night last night was. I obviously couldn't film much. I just really wanted to kind of be in the moment. I did get some clips most of which I won't be able to put in this video because of copyright reasons which is really annoying but Oh my God, Beyonce was just incredible. I also don't want to give any spoilers for anyone that might watch this. Oh, I suppose she'll have been and gone by then, but yeah, I don't want to give too many spoilers, but oh my God, she was just, hang on, I'm trying to balance. Let me get up here. She was just incredible. Like the outfit changes, the production, it was just everything I had imagined even better, like times 10. I have got no voice left this morning. I was just, I think singing would be a generous word to describe what I was doing. Screeching would probably be a little bit more accurate. But yeah, it was um, such, such a good night. And yeah, and I had the most amazing sleep in this hotel as well. I used to hate sleeping in hotels by myself, but I really enjoyed last night's sleep. I think because I was officially all song and danced out. So I needed the sleep. This is such a weird angle, I feel very strange filming like this. Anyway, today I am heading back home. First I'm going to film, I'm going to have a little look around the shops. I think I'm going to film like a separate YouTube video, like a come shopping with me. Um, so I'm going to go and film that now and then yeah, head back home. It's a little bit more of a chilled vibe today. I haven't got too much to get done today and then yeah, back to normality i hope my voice comes back because i've got a lot of filming to do tomorrow i've got a lot of filming to do now i need to now go and film a video oh my gosh i think i need breakfast that's what i need i might go and grab a joe and the juice or something that sounds like that could be quite nice but anyway i will reconvene it's gonna be very confusing after i've filmed the next video and then i'll continue the vlog Okay guys, so I thought I'd just film a little um, voiceover for this bit because it's quite hard to vlog in the shops. I had a quick trip to Zara. To be honest, I wasn't loving it. I don't think I went in a very good Zara, to be honest. I've been much better, but I saw this little two-piece, thought that was okay, but yeah, nothing major, to be honest. I then headed over to Massimo Duty, and oh my gosh, honestly, they had so many nice things in their store. I could have spent a small fortune in there. I really like the look of this dress. It was almost like a towel kind of material. I thought it would be really nice for uh, maybe like more of a casual daytime look in the summer or even just to take on holiday. This was how much it cost. But yeah, I picked it up to go and try on in the changing rooms. They also had like a t-shirt version of it, which was also super cute. Loved these tan sandals. They, they honestly just had so many nice things. I was really trying to uh, restrain myself. I also spotted this gorgeous blue shirt in there. I've been looking for a plain blue shirt that isn't oversized. So I did grab that to try on. And they also had lots of really nice um, like basic tops, uh, basic uh, like trousers. They were just killing it. I was loving it in there. They had some more of the collared t-shirts in, you know, various colours. 
and just lots of nice summer pieces to be honest look how nice this beach bag is so nice i also spotted these flats which i thought were quite nice with the strap around the ankle to keep them secure anyway i headed to the changing rooms and first up i tried on this striped um dress that i showed you earlier it was okay but i, I thought for the price i would have um like to have loved it a little bit more i thought it'd be lovely to take on holiday but i was looking for something a little bit more i'd say a little bit more modest just to wear more sort of day to day in the uk as well so didn't end up grabbing it i did also try on this basic vest top i have actually seen a few people wearing this already so i knew i liked it um before i even tried it on I thought it looked quite nice with the trousers that I was wearing that day as well. So yeah, I did actually decide to treat myself and uh, get this top because I thought it would be a great basic to wear with so many outfits. And of course, I had to try on the blue shirt. I just really love the fit of this. It's not too oversized. It's not too fitted. I thought it'd be a great basic piece I'd get a lot of wear out of. It'll go with so many uh, other pieces in my wardrobe. And as I said, it's not too oversized, so it's not too sort of um, trendy. And then finally, uh, I've just kept the blue shirt on here. I spotted these, they were like skinny flared jeans um, in this gorgeous dark blue colour. Oh my god, the fit of them was so lovely. I'm just wearing my normal size 8 here, but they have a really, really lovely stretch around the waist. So comfortable, really good length on me. So I thought, you know what, I'm actually going to grab these. I've never tried on a pair of jeans from here before. Um, and yeah, I think I will be back to get more in future because I was just so, so impressed by these. Oh, good morning, guys. I finally feel like I'm actually sat down and able to talk to you properly now. Well, it's just been one of those busy weeks, but I am about to start my makeup. I've put some um, Charlotte Tilbury, the flawless thingy my bobby. What's it called? Flawless filter. I popped a bit of this on. But I thought I'd sit down and just do my foundation with you today. I'm not going to do my whole makeup routine because I did that... I think a couple of vlogs back I did my kind of everyday makeup routine so nothing has changed but I do have a new foundation that um, I've been sent to try so I thought I could give you kind of a bit of a first impressions on camera I've not tried it before yet so yeah and I've actually got a long day ahead of me so I can give you a proper wear test as well so i am getting ready to go down well got a bit of work to do and then i'm going back down to london but um this time i'm going with andy and um, we've actually got a really nice evening planned so we're driving down to andy's mum and dad's first they're looking after um desi and bolly for us we are then going out for a lovely meal in london and then we are going to see mickey flanagan um, one of our favourite comedians, we both love him so much. We have been saying for the longest time, next time he goes on tour, we need to go and see him because we just, we both love him equally. Him and Ricky Gervais were the two on our list that we really wanted to see. Luckily enough, we managed to get tickets for Ricky Gervais just before Christmas last year. I think that was part of Vlogmas, actually. Yeah, I think it was. Um, and we managed to get tickets for Mickey Flanagan, so we're going to head there tonight for just a nice evening um, together. So yeah, my makeup does need to last the test of time today. It's quite a warm day as well, which is probably good as well, because you know, let's see if this foundation holds out in the summer. So the foundation I'm gonna be using is new. It's from Laura Mercier, their brand new foundation. It's called the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. So, I mean, it sounds good, it says this long wearing foundation blurs the line between makeup and skin to reveal a healthier looking complexion. The skin loving formula provides perfecting, sorry, blah, 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 get my words out. The skin loving formula provides perfecting medium buildable coverage so weightless you'll forget you're wearing anything at all interesting that sounds good to me it says here to apply to clean skin yet blah, 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 with the with laura's real flawless foundation brush i obviously don't have that i do have my own makeup brush so i'm going to apply it with a brush as that seems to be what it's saying and telling me to do um i did like this test online to find out my color so i'm hoping this shade will be okay i mean 
it's hard to tell in the bottle, isn't it? Um, this is the packaging. It's lovely in like this glass bottle. Feels really nice and weighty. Quite luxurious. It's obviously got the Laura Mercier on the front. And then just a the bit of detail there on the back and a lovely white lid. So I have been colour matched to the shade 3N1 Buff. Um, in other foundations, um, I'm usually in the NARS Radiant Longwear. I am the shade Stromboli or the shade Barcelona. It depends how tanned I am. Usually in summer, I'd be Barcelona. Slightly more tan than Stromboli. So that's a little bit for reference what I usually am. I'm hoping this is going to be okay. I'm just going to go I'm just going to go straight in and put some on my face and we'll go from there and we'll see how we get on shall we and then um I can kind of update you. Let's see how well this is going to match. I'm going to put a little bit straight onto my face. Oh. Okay, that color looks quite good already. Doesn't look too tan I'd say that's quite a good colour match I usually do go the tiniest bit darker on my face because I feel like once you add you know concealer and everything it kind of lightens it up a bit doesn't it that is lovely to blend I feel like that has practically just blended itself just blend it down my neck a little bit I'm just gonna hold you I'm just gonna hold you here into the light this is one light layer on this side versus the side that I haven't done and you can see it's really really nice I've not used a lot but that is really nice I like that I can still see my freckles through it but it has given me that nice coverage but yeah I can still see my freckles which is a good sign let's um let's finish off the rest of my face I think that colour match is um, pretty bang on. Considering I did that online, I am really happy with that. It's honestly so lovely to blend. I'm not just saying that. You know, sometimes with um, foundations, you feel like you really have to work and you can kind of see where you've got product build up and you haven't quite blended it as well. This honestly feels like it's blending itself. I'm not having to work hard at all. I mean, you can see, I'm literally just talking to the camera kind of haphazardly, dabbing away, not looking in a mirror. And I'm trusting that it's blending and it really is. That feels really lovely. It's not um, matte, I'd say. It's more of like a satin finish. Kind of reminding me of the uh, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I'd say it was just like a level down from the luminosity that that gives you. Which it's not, which isn't a bad thing. I'd say, um, I'd say luminous silk might be too luminous if you have quite oily skin. This is kind of toned down slightly. I'm really liking this actually. So foundation finished. It, I honestly, I'm really, I'm so impressed. I am really, really liking how this is looking. You can see. I've not lost the glow in my skin. It's not mattified me right down, but I don't look oily. It's given me the coverage that I want, but not to the point where I can't see my freckles or I feel like, you know, I can still see my skin, but it's completely evened me out. I think that has given me such a lovely base. I really, really love that. I think that looks really good. Let me know what you think. Anyway, I'm gonna quickly just finish off the rest of my makeup and my hair. And then, yeah, show you a few other bits of pieces. I've got a few um, few bits of uh, clothes to show you before I head down to London. So yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of a try on haul. We are just on our way down to London. We have just dropped um, Desi and Bolly off at Andy's mum and dad's. So we're now just driving in and we're about an hour away. So yeah, I thought I'd give you a little um, foundation update as well while I'm here actually so I let's take these sunglasses off oh god it's so bright outside also when we left this morning it was so cold well this afternoon it was cold by the time we've got down here it's now really really warm so I'm half wishing I'd put shorts on instead of jeans but oh well 
um, foundation update. So I've now had it on for about four hours. It's wearing really, really well. I haven't touched up since. Usually I, um, well, I've currently got in my bag my Charlotte Tilbury, my airbrush flawless finish powder. Um, because usually sort of throughout the day I might just powder just either sides of my nose where I get a little bit oily. That, um, I haven't needed to do that yet, which is a good sign. Usually if I'm wearing maybe like the Armani Luminous Silk, I might have had to have a little touch up by now, but so far so good. It's wearing really well. I really love the coverage of it. It's not too heavy. I'm just, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I'll try and show you my outfit when um, when we get to the hotel. But I'm wearing my new top from Massimo Duty, and I'm basically wearing just some Zara white, like three quarter jeans. Um, and I have got my black blazer, but I don't think it's needed now. It's a bit warm. I was going to wear my nice little like black shorts, but it was so cold this morning when we left that. I really wish I'd worn them now, but but we've got dinner booked at Harry's Bar, which I'm really excited about. Andy's never been. I have been, I've been twice. I want to say I've been twice. But yeah, we've never been together, and it'll be Andy's first time. But we love, we love Italian food. And to be honest, it was a little bit of a last minute um, booking. So a couple of the places that um, we kind of wanted to try as well, we couldn't actually get in. Um, so I was quite happy when we managed to get a book in here. So yeah, that is the plan. Head to the hotel, drop our stuff off, and then head straight for dinner. Um, I'm going to put these on actually because it's a little bit bright. I've just got my new um, Celine, Celine sunglasses on. But um, Andy told me something interesting last night, didn't you? My work. What? 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 <laughs> So guys, do you remember a few minutes back in the vlog when I was telling you about how gutted I was that I couldn't get Beyonce tickets? Oh, oh God. <laughs> and luckily I was invited by Nasty Gal to go and see Beyonce. So I was obviously really happy. But anyway, before this had happened, before I'd been invited to it was this... like a couple of weeks before, or a week before. It was a, a week before. So the week before I actually got invited by Nasty Gal, I was obviously in my sad little bubble, just that I hadn't managed to get Beyonce tickets. And then Andy plucked up the courage to tell me a little story last night. <laughs> he would have been in the doghouse. I'm just going to turn you around here. So... I'm sorry if the sun is shining in, but so do you want to tell them? No, you can, you can tell it. So Andy told me that he saw on Instagram that um, someone was advertising Beyonce tickets. Someone so, he knew. Someone he knew. Um, so he messaged them and said, I'd, you know, I'd be really interested in these. So, you know, the thought was there. That was a really nice thing to do. Anyway. Andy doesn't really use like Instagram that much, so um, <laughs> he had since forgot that he'd messaged this girl asking about Beyonce tickets, only to a week later, because that's how long like the intervals are between him even going on Instagram, like literally sometimes a month he won't go on there. He went on Instagram and found a message in his inbox <laughs> from this girl. What did it say? It said, yeah, they're available. Do you still want them? Yeah. And then Andy just responded saying, yeah. What did you say, yeah? No, I said, are they? I said, oh my word, I can't believe that. I, I, I haven't checked this in so long, I forgot. Are they still available? And she said, no, they've been sold because you didn't come back to me. <laughs> Can you imagine if I hadn't have gone, how upset I would have been if you'd have missed out? The thing is, because would you have done that as a surprise or would you have told me you'd messaged her? Because if you told me you'd No, 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 I was just going to buy them. I was just going to buy the tickets oh, off of that. But you didn't tell me you'd even message this no, person. No, correct. So you would have missed out on them. Because if I'd known you'd message, I'd have been nagging you saying, has she been Yeah, correct, correct. Whereas so, because uh, you weren't here, but well, you were away. So Andy Swerve, thanks Nasty Gal, because you managed to... Save me. Save Andy's bacon. Well, you would have never known. 
No, would you never <laughs> told me? I would have done eventually. Yeah. But not but for a while. How long is like the appropriate period to wait to tell someone that you'd have had to wait at least twelve months? Yeah, a year, yeah. Yeah, I think you'd he would have waited a long time to tell me that, so when she's no longer touring. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine she announces her retirement that you like oh yeah by the way <laughs> I missed out on getting you those tickets. So isn't it a good job I was invited now because yeah. you would have been in the severe doghouse if I found out you'd missed out on getting those tickets <laughs> because you didn't respond. Oh my god, it just made me laugh how he plucked up the courage to tell me last night because I was really happy that I'd been to see you her. You didn't really say anything last night. Like when I told you, you didn't really say anything and you well, clearly no. thought to yourself, I'll save that and make sure. Well no, because I thought I've seen her, so that. it's fine. No, because it's fine, I've seen her, it's absolutely fine, but had I not have seen her and you told me that, it would have been a very different story, I'd have been very upset. <laughs> very upset. Oh dear, anyway. Are you looking forward to Mickey Flanagan? I am. I'm really looking forward to it. I've been looking at the reviews and the reviews are really good. Oh my god, bumpy bit of road. Everyone that has seen him so far has said how good he is. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm really hungry as well. I'm actually quite hungry. Are you hungry? Mm -hmm. I'm starving. Table. Look at your mark on the table. No, leave that. <laughs> Bit of dessert. Don't fill mine. <laughs> you got your ice cream, babe. It's a palate cleanser. A palate cleanser. That's a kid's ice cream. Sorbet. <laughs> Ready. Well, I apologise for my rubbish vlogging over the last sort of 24 hours, but it, we've had such a lovely night in London. Um, I feel like both times I've been down to London this week, it's just been doing stuff that I really, that I can't vlog. So obviously last night I couldn't vlog any of going to see Mickey Flanagan, but um, we did go out for a lovely meal at Harry's Bar. We both went for the um, Linguini Vongole, which was really, really nice. Um, I would say I think I prefer yours that you make at home, though. Yeah, mine. Andy does make a really nice seafood pasta at home, and I love it, which we haven't had for ages, actually. No. Maybe next week on the vlog, you uh, whack out your secret recipes. <laughs> <laughs> whack your prawns out for the vlog. <laughs> Get your prawns out. <laughs> Get your clams out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make that next week on the vlog. The seafood pasta. The seafood pasta. You do make a really nice one. So yeah, we'll say yours is better, but it was very nice. Um, oh, I'm actually crying. We had um, also had dessert as well, which was oh my god, I had this like it's called like the flourless chocolate cake. So it was between a chocolate cake and a tart. Oh my god, it was so nice, so good. Like it was just the texture that I wanted, and oh, so good. Um, but yeah, anyway, we jumped on the tube straight after that and headed over to the O2 and saw Mickey Flanagan. And oh, it was such a funny night, wasn't it? Was it? Funny, yeah. He was so, he was so good. It was actually his last night of um, the tour. I felt like by the end of it, could you tell he was tired? Yeah, 
I could as well. Yeah, he was knackered. I could, t I could tell he was tired at the end of it. Like he, it didn't affect his performance whatsoever. But you could he just wasn't moving around as much. You could sense that he was tired. Like he had he had done nine nights like in a row at the O2 yeah. and that was his last night. But it was so good and the crowd like were absolutely loving him, weren't they? Like yeah. everyone was just like before he, even before he came out, obviously you know when they have like songs just playing before the people, you know, whoever's performing comes out. Everyone was up on their feet singing and dancing and it was a really um, like lively atmosphere, especially for a comedian, whereas sometimes you can go and it can be quite a dull atmosphere. When we went to go and see Michael McIntyre years ago, it wasn't that kind of atmosphere at all, was no, it? No, it was not good. It wasn't, and I'd say Ricky Gervais was quite a good atmosphere as well, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'd say this Ricky- This one was wild. This one was probably the wildest atmosphere that we've ever been to. But yeah, I'd say Ricky Gervais and Mickey Flanagan, if you're ever thinking about going to see any of them, we rate them so much going to see them live. Like, you get so much more out of it live, I think, because, you know, you can always, you know, watch the, the DVD or the Netflix thing afterwards, but there's so many jokes and just so much of the atmosphere that it just you don't get when you watch it afterwards. Um, but yeah, I was literally just laughing from start to finish all the way through. It was so good. Um, I'm actually really excited to watch it again when it comes out. Will it come out on DVD? Well, yeah. DVD. Or not DVD. You know what I mean? It doesn't come out on DVD. No, no, Netflix. I'm Netflix saying. or yeah, it'll come out on something. something. I know. I know he would have filmed that 100. I I don't know if he'll tour again. Probably not. Well, he was saying last night, it's been five years since he had toured. So I don't know if he will again. He's in his 60s now, isn't he? He's 60. Is he? Yeah. Oh, wow. Fair play. He's looking quite good. Yeah. Who else have I seen? Lee Evans, I saw. I saw Lee Evans on his last tour before he retired. That was really, really good. God, that was years ago. I still secretly hold out some little hope that Lee Evans will just do a comeback tour. You know, no. just the odd one. No, yeah. Well, that man is retired. What well, was it, Peter Kay that retired but then came back? I'm sure so, there was a comedian that had retired and then came back. I don't know, Lee Evans might do a rap, but he's su he's such a private person. For such like a big, loud character and comedian, he's so private and so quiet. Mm. So maybe he won't, but I'm holding out hope. But I saw his last tour and that was really good. Who's been your favourite? Who would you say, Mickey Flanagan or Ricky Gervais? Mickey Flanagan. You think Mickey Flanagan? I thought he was funnier than Ricky did you? Ricky Gervais is funny. He is funny, but you kind of the humour is always on the extreme. So the jokes are always yeah, so far to the extreme that you're always laughing at the same level. Whereas him, some of the jokes are the extreme. Some of them are like some are really ones. yeah. With so Mickey like Flanagan, some of, of the humor. some of the jokes are like there's a toe over the line. And some of them are just so simple. It's just his mannerisms, isn't it? Yeah. It just makes it funny. Exactly. Like, it's more just... to the comedy, I think. The yeah. Films. That's my. Yeah, my, I mean, they're complete. They are different yeah, comedians. Exactly. That's what I mean, so. Yeah, it depends yeah. what you're into. I love both. But yeah, Mickey Flanagan was so good. It's so good. Oh yeah, when we got to the hotel yesterday as well. Remember what I was telling you about? <laughs> Andy was nearly in the doghouse this week <laughs> over Beyonce tickets. We got to the hotel um, yesterday. It was a very quick turnaround. We literally went to the hotel, dumped our stuff, went straight to the restaurant. Um, well, we got to the hotel and they were like, you don't have a booking. Guess, <laughs> guess the person. Get, it was, I booked the Mickey Flanagan tickets. So I said to Andrew, would you mind finding a hotel like nearby? Yep, I'll do that. Disaster. He'd booked the hotel, guys. He booked it for the 30th of June. <laughs> I don't even know how you manage that. So we got there and we had got a book in, but for like four weeks time. <laughs> so luckily they had another room, so we were able to um, able to book in. So it wasn't too bad in the end, but it very nearly. And it was half price. You've had oh yeah, and it ended up being half the price. So that I actually saved. Andy saved money. money. That's two very near misses you've had this week. <laughs> of being in I've the doghouse. You've had some good luck this week, yeah. yeah. You had two near misses. I did misses. do the lottery the other night. You need to do the lottery if you've been very lucky this week. No, I did it the other day. Right. When when is that due? Could it's, we be millionaires right now? It's been I won't check now because I'm driving, that's 
No, don't check now on the vlog. We won't tell these lot if we win. <laughs> I'll just di I'll disappear for six months. <laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely need to do the lottery. But anyway, we have just finished. Um, just finished. We're just leaving London now. And we went for a lovely breakfast this morning at the Ivy because um, our hotel was literally 10 second walk from there. Um, and we do love a good breakfast at the Ivy. I love that breakfast. We both just had um, eggs benedict and we also had a little pastry kind of selection of pastries, which was very, very nice. We also popped to Versace on Bond Street. I wanted to get Andy's mum a little, just a little thank you present. Um, because obviously I went on the, if you guys were watching, you'll know the reason I went on the Costa Rica trip and all of that. And I've been wanting to get her a little something to just say thank you, really. So I did buy her something from Versace, which I think she's going to really like. Um, I don't think she's going to be expecting it whatsoever. So we did pop there so I could grab her um, a present. And then now we are on our way to Andy's mum and dad's. They've had the doggies for us overnight. So we're going to head to Andy's mum and dad's and I think we're going to have a bit of a, are we having a barbecue or something? Yeah. Yeah, we're just having like a nice lunch barbecue and are we staying over tonight? Yes. We're staying at theirs tonight, yeah. So yeah, just a lovely barbecue, nice little chill out in the sun. I think it's going to be a lovely day again today. So yeah very excited i'm wearing i've been waiting to wear this for so long i've been waiting for the weather to be warm enough i'm wearing my two-piece it's like a linen um waistcoat this like sage green stripe with the matching trousers from mango you might remember it from like a haul um a few weeks ago i've just been waiting for the weather to be warm enough to wear it and oh, i'm so happy i'm wearing it it's so nice so yeah we are gonna head now to andy's mum and dad's and have a lovely barbecue Friday all planned to go down to London and then going to like Andy's parents was a little bit um, like a last minute thing and when we got there um, it was sort of like an early birthday celebration for me which was so unexpected it was literally the best surprise because I genuinely didn't expect anything for my birthday to be happening because my birthday is not for another two weeks so yeah, but Andy's mum and dad are away while it is my actual birthday. But, and I didn't know that. So I just had no idea. So when I walked in, um, like they decorated the kitchen for me and yeah, it was just really nice. And then I had um, like a couple of like birthday presents. It was just really, really lovely, including these flowers in this vase, which is just gorgeous. You probably can't see the vase actually. Let me move you down. There we go, this is the vase. I was actually eyeing this one up. I wonder if any of you guys will remember when I went to Doddington's and I very, very nearly bought it for myself, but 
it just goes in our kitchen so nicely especially when the kitchen is uh, like painted and finished in a few weeks I just absolutely love it I think it's so gorgeous they also gave me um, my early birthday present which is this beautiful bracelet from Fendi obviously a lot of you guys will know Fendi is pretty much probably my favorite designer brand so yeah they gave me this gorgeous bracelet and I love it it's just the kind of bracelets I like I don't like bracelets when they're too loose and they kind of, you know, when they just jingle jangle up and down your wrists. I find them really irritating. I'd much rather something be more kind of solid, almost like a watch, which is exactly what this is like. Like you can see, it's not going to move up and down my wrist and be annoying or anything like that. So it's just the kind of thing that I like. So could not have got me a more perfect present and it's so unexpected, so nice of them. And um, also had a bottle of my fave. Bottle of my favourite, Laurent Perrier. My uh, regular viewers will know this is my favourite alcoholic beverage. So very excited to enjoy that. I'm going to save that for my birthday, I think, to enjoy. But yeah, I'm feeling very spoiled. <laughs> It, it was honestly so unexpected, so it was such a nice surprise. Um, but yeah, as you can see, back home now after a lovely weekend. So back to, I was going to say a bit of normality, but to be fair, it's Sunday. So I'm wanting a more chilled day today. I think we're just going to do something super simple for dinner. Probably eat outside in the garden. I've got a bit of tidying to do. Um, I need to pop and go and see Flicker, give her a little bit of exercise. But yeah, it's gonna be a fairly chilled, nice day. Oh, one more thing. In my last vlog, I told you guys that I was looking for the Dior lip oil in the shade Coral, because everywhere I'd looked, it had been out of stock, so I couldn't get hold of it. A few of you actually commented on my last vlog saying, it's in stock in boots now and you can get 20% off so thank you so much to those people that said that because i got straight online to boots and i finally have it i finally have the dior lip oil that i've been looking for in the shade coral i'm going to put a little bit on now actually I have already got some on but you know let's put some on i'm going to use you as a mirror Oh, it's just so lovely. I love it because it's a really glossy gloss, but it's not um, it's not sticky. It's not too oily, so it doesn't run or drip or anything like that. So lovely. I've done a really light, um, like no makeup makeup today, just to, well, it was just to sort of travel home today, to be honest, but I'm not actually wearing any foundation i've just done some um my moisturizer and i've just popped some like concealer over little bits bit of bronzer mascara and uh, my lip oil and i quite like how it looks just for a, just for a nice sunday bit of glow but i am gonna go and get changed now because as i said i do need to go and see a little miss flicker I need to give you a flicker update as well. I realise I haven't done that yet in this vlog. I hope this vlog isn't too long. Although actually you guys have said you like longer vlogs. Let me know what you think on that because I don't mind. If a vlog's like an hour long, I don't mind because I, I quite like having my vlogs on, you know, in the morning when I'm getting ready. So I quite like the longer vlogs because then I don't have to skip and find something else to watch. It lasts the entire time of me getting ready. But... Let me know what you guys think. Do you prefer short, snappy, 20 minute, half an hour vlogs or are you on the team of like hour long vlogs? Let me know. I like the long ones, but let me know. Hello, Whippy. Hello, Whips. Hello, was that a nigh? <laughs> was, that, was that supposed to be a nigh? Hello, was that supposed to be a nigh? Are you munching? Are you munching? Oh, are you munching? Hello, sweet girl. Whippy, what do you want? I know, you want to scratch, don't you? Oh, Whippy. I know, you're my second favourite. Oh, you want to scratch, don't you? 
<laughs> Are you enjoying that? <laughs> is that good? That's the spot, isn't it? That's the spot, Wibs. Oh, is that nice? Oh, is that nice? Oh, looking a little bit more, a little bit more dishevelled than the last time um, I spoke to you and uh, probably a lot more dirty. But anyway, flicker all done. Just had a nice little schooling session and now I'm about to go home. Oh my God, my hair is um, <laughs> questionable. I thought I'd give you a quick update um, while I'm here at the yard, um, just before I go home. Oh my God, I'm so dusty and dirty. <laughs> um, because in the last vlog, I think I mentioned that we, um, we were heading to our first affiliated event. So we went out to our event and oh my God, she was so good. Because it was affiliated, um, so basically when you compete with horses, you can either do it unaffiliated or affiliated. So when you compete at an affiliated level, it's overseen by, um, so I do eventing, so it's overseen by British eventing and all of your scores, your points um, go against um, like your horse's name. It's all official, it's all on record. Um, and you can gain points and move up levels, etc, etc. And so there's always a bit more, I'd say there's always a, probably a little bit more of a busier atmosphere. It all feels a little bit more official. So when we got there, there was a lot going on. There's lots of like trade stands and it's just a lot more sort of hustle and bustle. She coped so well with the busier atmosphere. She was very excited to be there. She was neighing and shouting to everyone. Um, but she was really good and yeah we actually ended up finishing in the top 10 we got a double clear which is what i was aiming for she's fairly new to this whole event in malarkey we're obviously still a new fairly new partnership together i've had a six months now i can't believe how quick those six months have gone and how much we've actually done together and just how how good our relationship is i know that probably sounds really weird to a lot of people listening um but it's the only way i can compare it is if you've got a dog you know that bond you have with that dog so you imagine a bond with a horse something that you are you're essentially putting your life uh, in a horse's let's say hooves while you're riding them you know you have to have a lot of trust between both of you they have to really trust you and you and trust that you know what you're doing you know when when we're out eventing and we're going around these fences and she's seeing jumps and things and he's in in a, you know she's in a new atmosphere she has to have that trust in me that i'm not putting her in danger she can do as i'm asking her to do and you know she'll be fine and i have to trust her that you know she'll meet me halfway and try for me and i just i love honestly i love her so much she tries her little heart out for me and yeah as i said i just i really feel like we've got a really good relationship and i just i couldn't have asked for a better first six months with a new horse because it can be daunting it, it can take sometimes it can take you so long to click and gel with a horse you know i've you know had experiences in the past where i've had a horse for, you know 12 months or more and i've still not trusted them as much as i do with flicker now and i've still been learning their quirks and their ways and their personality and i just already of every single day i'm just learning more and more about her and she is with me i know that she wouldn't want she wouldn't want to put me in harm's way and the same as i think she knows that i wouldn't put her in harm's way either um, so yeah, it's it's a really I feel like we've got a really good partnership. But anyway, so yeah, we went to that event. She was so good. We ended up finishing the top ten, which I was just so chuffed with. You know, it's just oh, she's just so good, guys. She's brilliant. I'll pop in a few um, a few clips here and there of us going round. Like we did the dressage first, then we moved on to show jumping, and then we did our cross country round and. All the way around I'll try and include some of the um, clips if I can all the way around you can just hear me saying good girl good girl good girl just chatting away to her just 
letting her know I'm still I'm still up here I'm on your back it's all right I'm here and just talking like talking around and oh she was good I'll pop a clip in here anyway but yeah excuse my high-pitched excitable horsey voice So anyway, I'm going to stop gushing over my pony because I'm sure I'm sure those of you that aren't interested have probably already skipped through. But I just have to sing her praises because I just, yeah, I couldn't ask for much more for a better start to our partnership. I actually had someone message me. Um, I've got, um, for those of you that don't know, um, if you are interested in following kind of me and Flickr a little bit more in detail, um, you know, I'll, I'll post a lot about our competitions, our results, our training over on my equestrian Instagram account. I'll just pop a little screenshot here if you are interested in following that. But anyway, someone actually messaged me on there basically saying if you ever come to sell Flickr, um, I'd be really interested or, you know, are you considering selling it? And I'm just putting that this out here, guys for the record on youtube 100% she will never be for sale so i'm just putting that out there she will 100% touch wood she will see out the rest of her days with me she's not going anywhere she she will retire with me she will live a long happy life with me she's not going anywhere even if something was to happen you know touch wood it doesn't she will see out the rest of her days with me so unfortunately i'm really sorry for anyone that would really love her and you know or a horse like her but she ain't going nowhere i'm afraid guys that will never be up for discussion and will never be an option so i'm sorry sorry not sorry but she's with me for life but anyway i am going to head I think I'm going to head to M&S. It's Sunday, guys. I'm going to push the boat out. I'm going to head to M&S. I'm going to get a nice dinner for me and Andy. And then probably have a cup of tea and some of my birthday cake that I got yesterday. Early birthday cake. Guys, turning 30 might not be that bad. I'm, I'm on track for having two birthday cakes. So I'm already winning, I'd say. Back home now. I've had a very, very, very quick shower just to freshen up a little bit. And I've just popped on a really chilled outfit. Um, it's going to be a couple of hours before Andy's actually home. And um, he's at golf with his friend. And I was going to have dinner done for when he comes back. But he's going to stay and have a beer with his friend. I can't blame him. The weather is so nice. So I do actually have a little bit longer than I thought. So I think I'm going to sit in the garden. Um, I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. I have a slice of my early birthday cake. So yeah, I think I'm just going to sit in the garden and do that. But before I head there, I thought I'd quickly show you what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing this gorgeous oversized striped shirt from Zara. I got it in a recent haul. It's got this kind of um, faint, kind of like sagey green stripe. Really nice for um, this kind of weather when it's not boiling hot, but you know, it's still fairly warm. It's really breathable, really nice. I'm wearing it just with my cropped white jeans, again, also from Zara. And I've just popped on my tan sandals. These, how much of a good dupe are these for the Hermes sandals? I actually got these when I was in Ibiza. Um, couldn't tell you the name of the store. It was just a cute little like independent shop um, in old Ibiza town, just off the marina. And yeah, I saw these. I had them in black as well. I just thought, you know what? They look like such a dupe for the Hermes ones. I'm going to get them. And I'm so glad I did because they are the comfiest sandals I have. And yeah, I just like the little pop of tan with these colours. So yeah, I'm going to head down now and get myself a nice little slice of cake. Might have accidentally cut myself a slightly bigger portion than I was intending to, but oh well. Gonna sit out here and enjoy my cake. I don't need help with you two. Now, I'm pretty sure if you've been watching my videos for a while, you will have heard me talk about Murad products 
a lot but i'm very excited because i just received this in the post well i actually received it a couple of days ago but obviously i've been away so i've only just opened it and this has got me so excited it's a brand new product from murad it's their retinal re-sculpt overnight treatment so it launches first of june so it's out already ready to shop so I was just having a little read up on it. So I actually use a trio of their um, retinol products. I use this one here. This is their retinol youth renewal serum for the face. I use the eye version as well. And then I also use the retinol um, cream as well over the top of that. The products that I'm currently using are for mild to moderate signs of aging. So the difference between this product and their new product so this is their retin now so this one is for advanced signs of aging here's some before and afters on the packaging as well i am very excited to try this i think i'm going to try this this evening i honestly cannot speak today i have just tried to start speaking on this vlog like three times and every single time i keep getting tongue-tied i don't know what is wrong with me as i was trying to say three times i'm taking my makeup off oh this probably needs a wash doesn't it i've got a bit of makeup on it taking my makeup off thought i'd do a quick un get unready with me uh video part of the video where's my cleanser gone there it is because i want to use my new um, murad goodies but first i'm going to take my makeup off i'm using my elemis pro collagen cleansing balm i'm literally look at this oh i literally ran out of it luckily i do have a little stock up in my drawer i like to literally scrape the barrel when i use any skincare oh i also feel like while i'm doing this i didn't give you a proper kind of post eight hour wear foundation update for the laura mercier foundation really really love it guys i was wearing it pretty much for about 12 hours i wore it all day i wore it all through london going out for food it doesn't need like mattifying down as much. I definitely didn't have to use my airbrush flawless finish um, powder half as much. I felt like it, it kind of was really good at controlling my oily section. So I get quite oily here, either side of my nose, my chin here. And I feel like it did a really good job of controlling that, even though it's not necessarily a matte foundation it did a really good job of that right i'm gonna quickly rinse this off my face and then i'll be back okay right makeup off i am gonna double cleanse so the next cleanse that i'm gonna use oh god that's gone right in my eye oh my eyes are a little bit bloodshot now i am using the murad resurgence renewal cleansing cream because it's part of like the same range the resurgence range i thought let's um Let's use this with um, with this other product as well. A little bit of this cleanser goes such a long way. Oh my God, I've just put a little bit too much on then. I got a little bit excited. This is such a good, um, what's the word, hydrating cleanser. It's really, really nice. Anyway, I've definitely put too much on. <laughs> oh my God, I look like Mrs. Doubtfire. You know, she sticks her head in the cake and she's like hello that's what i look like oh my god actual mrs doubtfire vibes oh maybe i'll watch that tonight i haven't watched that for so long right let me rinse this clean <laughs> it's just getting worse and worse i'm gonna rinse this cleanse off my face quickly there we go face all cleansed no longer resembling mrs doubtfire i actually caught the sun um yesterday sat in Andy's mum and dad's garden can you see i actually got a little bit of a natural tan for once on my shoulder but anyway right it says this is your step two treatment now so now i've cleansed my face i can use this and then for an extra whack apparently after using this 
I can go in with my um, Murad night cream. So this is the retinol night cream that I um, that I use as part of my other kind of routine with my three steps. But I'm gonna use this one instead of the other serum tonight. So, ooh, it has no smell. It is like a um, cream consistency. Oh, a really light cream though. It's not, um, it really blends out quite quickly. It's not too like rich or thick. Is this going to make me look like a 12 year old again? Let's get some on the neck. Okay, skincare done. Do I look like a baby yet? I'm gonna have to keep posted on that. Maybe I'll do a little report in every week and you'll just see me aging backwards. And with that guys, I am gonna end this vlog here because I'm gonna have myself a nice early night and then yeah, it's the start of a new week, start of a new vlog tomorrow. So I will pick up the camera again and yeah, I'll see you in next week's vlog guys. Bye.